Hi guys, this week I am doing a what's in my pencil case. It is overflowing. It is pretty bad, but obviously I don't need this. So I thought I would do a what's in my pencil case because a couple of people have requested that. Um, and I've also got a few new pens recently, so I thought I would do a pen test on everything that I've got. So a couple of my new items is this painter's knife. Usually you would use this as a palette knife like you know to put paint down. Can you hear those birds? They are literally going mental. They're right outside my window. So as I was saying before those birds came out of nowhere, this is a painter's knife. Um, I've been using it, well, I originally saw this on Kim's channel, Living the Wife Life. Um, it's really good for holding down your washi tape so you can rip it because I have not had much luck with scissors and I have not had much luck with like cards so this is a really good tool to have and I've used it for my plan with me this week and I'm pretty impressed with it so that's the first thing I've also got some glue tape um, this is just the brand Kokuyo um, it is not repositionable you can get repositionable and I use this for my stickers so I'll just get them out I just use one little strip on the back of there and stick it in my binder for where all my stickers are. So that is how I like them best and that's what I use. So you can get these at any stationery store. This is from a, this is just from Officeworks. So in Australia you can get it from there but you can get it, like I'm sure maybe Michaels sell it in America. Um, you can get them pretty much anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay, so that's really good to have. And if you like your stickers a certain way, then, like, you know, if you like to split them up rather than keep them into kits, then that's definitely something you can use. I've got a pair of tiny scissors. These are a Japanese brand as well. Um, and I just use that for cutting washi tape straight or, you know, whatever you may need it for. Cutting stickers, because sometimes stickers are too long, so I'll use them. I've also got some little post-it notes so in my planner when I know something is on for the future I will stick it down so for instance um, in my planner when I know things I've got things on um, and also when I've know I've got things for uni so I know one of my subjects I've got an assignment due on the 15th so I just stick it in there so when it comes time to planning I know what I've got on and what I have to do. They're really good to have and I just keep a little one. You can keep them in the back of your planner but I find them it's more handy for me to have in my pencil case. And then I've got my pens so I will just start, oh I've got a pencil obviously I do that when I um, when I write something down that's not you know for certain or things in the back of my planner. This is just a, how do you pronounce this? by the way, Statler, Statler, it's just a 2B pencil, I was using this recently for our trip that we're planning to England, I wanted to write down dates and stuff like that, so I love having a pencil in my pencil case just in case, and then obviously I've got two groups of pens, I will start off with my actual pens and then I'll work to my permanent markers, so I've got three pens which is a bit boring. I have been accumulating them but at the moment I love these the most so I don't really see myself going to anything else. My first that I've got is um, my Muji pens and this is a 0 0.5. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than my other one. I've also got a 0 0.38. There's Muji stores in Australia, in America or you can get them from Amazon or eBay. I really like how these pens write and there isn't much bleed either so I will do a little bit of a pen test for you as you can see it write, the, the payoff with the colour is really nicely as well and there's absolutely no shadowing and there's no bleed through at all. So these are these these paper this paper here is about the same. Oops, one page over. So there's a tiny little bit of shadowing, but there's really not much at all. 
so these and these are about the same thickness as the Erin Condren pages. So that's why I love these Muji pens because you just don't get any issue at all. I've also got the same. There we go. I've also got it in a 0.38. This is also by Muji. So there isn't there isn't too much of a huge difference between these, but this is just a little bit thinner and a little bit more streamlined. And I tend to use my Muji point 0.38 more often than my 0.5. And as I said, there's even less shadowing there with this one. So there's a tiny little bit. If you press, obviously if you press hard, then that's when you're going to get your issues. So I'll use my 0 0.3 at the most, sometimes my 0 0.5 if I want to change it up. Or if I'm using it on stickers, I will use my 0 0.5 a bit more. But my also my other one is my Pilot G2 0 0.38. And I use this as regularly as my Muji. I haven't had this as long. I've had one at work, so I brought this home from work. And have been using it. Um, I have found that the Muji sometimes the ink can get a little bit funny so and I've never had a problem with ink on the tip here at all so this Pilot G2 is pretty nice. And I'll just show you the difference with the 0 0.38 and as you can tell on these you can see the ink is kind of on the bottom a little on the top a little bit on the point so that sometimes it gets a little bit funny. Um, the 0 0.38 is on the top here, this one here, and the 0 0.5 is on the bottom. You really can't tell the difference too much. But the ink is the only thing that gets a little bit weird on the tip, but if you just give it a little bit of a clean it's not really a problem. It's only if I'm using it too much I find that it's an issue. So this is the Pilot G2 0 0.38. And I find that it's a tiny little bit thicker than the Muji 0.38. So then my normal pens. The next are my permanent markers. Um, I've got a purple one. I have to be honest, I haven't used this as much as I would have usually. This is a gift that I had. It's an ultra fine point. Just in purple. But it's handy to have in your in your pencil case, definitely. And obviously with permanent markers, there is a lot of bleed. So I will usually only use these markers on my actual stickers. My next pen that I have is this, I've shown it in previous videos. It's a Sharpie Dual Head Twin Tip. I've never used this side. This is just a normal permanent marker. I wouldn't use that in my planner, definitely not. This is the, the side that I would use. So this is a um, ultra fine tip as well. I just realized I put 0 0.38 there. It's not 0 0.38. That was stupid. Um, Not really focusing, am I? All over the place. And again, less bleed through than the purple, but if you use a, a strong hand, then obviously it's going to come through a lot thicker. I then got um, the Pentel while I was waiting for my pen order. This is a Pentel pen green label, and it is a NMF50. If you want to find it, you can get this from Officeworks. I'm sure you could get it on other sites as well. And it's a little bit thinner than the Sharpie and about the same sort of shadowing bleed through on the back. So it's definitely not my favourite um, now. It used to be my favourite, but now that I've got my Le Pen, this is definitely my favourite. So I got the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point just in the normal head, um, not the twin tip, sorry. And I got the Le Pen at the same time. Obviously this Sharpie is going to be the same as this one here, but I'll just show you. It is more, uh, I don't know, 
porous, is that the word? It's like more spongy on the top there. I actually find that it's thicker than the twin tip as well. It does look thicker to me and it, it, it feels thicker as well. It's about the same sort of bleed through on the back. But that's definitely not my favourite. My go-to would be this Le Pen Permanent. And I saw this on Living the Wife Life Kim's YouTube. This is what she uses for her glossy stickers or her Cousin Design stickers. And this is definitely my favourite. It is thinner on the top. It's got, it sort of comes into a like a point at the top. So you get sort of a finer line. And that's, that's what I like the best. A finer tip. So this is the Le Pen Permanent and this is definitely my favourite. It's got like a more of a black and it's got less bleed through than the others. Similar but less bleed through and it's definitely my favourite. Definitely my favourite. So yeah, they're my pens. It's sort of a quick video. I am running out of battery as well which is why I was totally ran out of battery. That is my quick what's in my pencil case. I don't have a whole lot, but I'm happy with what I've got. And I think I would prefer to be happy with the small amount of things rather than have a large, wide bunch of things. And definitely my favorite is the Le Pen Permanent, as well as the Muji 0.38 and the G2, Pilot G2. So I will try to leave to links to everything that I use below, um, but you can find these in pretty much every every stationery store. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And if you've got any video suggestions, please let me know below and I will get around to doing them. Um, but thank you again for watching and I will see you guys on Sunday for my regular plan with me. But it is same but different week, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.